Hello everyone, this is Kathy Mason from Mason Works Marketing here on Conscious Business Zone with my dear friend Sherry Dorian. Hi Sherry! Hi! Hi, I'm so excited to be here today. Me too. So you guys, the reason why I asked Sherry to come back again, which um, I'm so lucky that she was available, is that I'm really sensing the amount of stress that people are carrying right now with all of the stuff going on. We're a little weary of being locked down. We don't know what's the truth. All of that stuff, it's really triggering people. And Sherry is an expert. She's created a process called Quantum Therapeutics, and she has a thing, Quantum Matrix, Quantum Therapeutics Matrix. Let's do it, right? And, um, and uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about that, if you would, first. And then, and then we, do, we are going to have live people for Sherry to work on on this call that you can watch and uh, watch her in action. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, very cool. Yeah, the QT matrix is a, a process I've developed over the last probably 10 years, right? First from my own needs, you know, and my own journey through um, PTSD, complex PTSD. And, um, as I started having these results, I was like, well, I wonder if I can can share this out. And I began working with people probably about five years ago. And I have taken this process through um, the worst that is possibly available all the way up to, you know, people who are just trying to um, um, resolve those final pieces, right? So. It doesn't matter the depths of your trauma, trauma is trauma, right? And I, I became just obsessed. I was like, oh my gosh, there has to be more than an idea to this healing. And it has to be an action that I take because it was the action I took to create it in the first place. Ah. So as I was traveling around and studying with different people and interacting with healers and well i was in therapy for 30 years so the traditional system um i was like okay like i have all these ideas all these thoughts healers are giving me these ideas and and they're they're you know trying to help me. and what's real and true is that it was like a band-aid and i would go home and it would resurface Right. So I was like, okay, there has to be an action. And I started really pondering because my last psychiatrist said to me, he was like, Sherry, I can't help you any further. I don't know what to do for you, but what I can say is you're not in there. And I was like, what does that mean? he goes, I don't even, I don't even know. He said, but you look like a mine. He goes, you have all the right actions and behaviors, but I can't feel you. You're not in there. And, I right. was like, well, and isn't that common with people in trauma? They get out of their body, right? Exactly. Disassociation. Here's the thing. Like the, the medical world views disassociation as like an idea again. Like, you know, where do you go? What really happens? You can't find one ounce of research, right? What is real and true disassociation is an out-of-body experience. It is an out-of-body experience. People right. study to be able to do that, right? Now, <laughs> right? You know, I, it's I, like I, a, I to study to get in. <laughs> yeah, right. We had to learn how to be in. Now, one of my clients, one of my beautiful, beautiful clients, sent me over a document the other day from 1983 and I started doing some research. The CIA has been researching astral travel to heal trauma since right. 1983. Right. I saw, I saw that they just let all that, all those documents out and uh, surprisingly it didn't make headline news. Nothing. Nothing. found out about our superpowers. I mean, we're we're magnificent beings, but we haven't been trained to use. It's like a, 
you didn't get the driver's license. You got the driver's license without the manual to the car. Yeah, it's like getting a, 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 you know, the highest tech computer possible and using it like you were in 1993, right? Like that's the capabilities we're using of this system. Uh -huh. And what's real and true, like, you know, mental illness is superpowers run amok. Yep, yep, yep. And what I love is right now is blaring that everywhere, right? Yeah. So around schizophrenia, there's so a show around multiple personalities, like all this. And we have to realize that all of that is just exaggerated version from a person that's operating like me and you. Right, right. So, so this is why I really was hoping that people would uh, experience Sherry today. And we do have Kathy Botchman. Hi, Kath. Um, anyway, we've got her in the waiting room and she's going to come on board. But if there's a couple more of you, we probably could do two or three during this call. Um, uh, it up to depends on what, what shows up. But, yep. we'll see. but but we wanted to show you what this is because the relief is real and permanent. This is not one of those things that you do that you have to keep doing it every day for 21 days. This is something where Sherry, can you explain a little bit about the time loops? That so the quantum mechanics right is that you know say this child that somebody hits them and they're like whoa you know just like if you were going to put your hand on a fire you're going to draw back well this kid draws back he draws completely back right and creates that out-of-body experience right and then he looks down and goes huh why do i want to go back to that right how do I get up tomorrow and have breakfast with these people with that in my consciousness? Right. So he puts a bubble around it. Right. Now, the world calls that compartmentalizing. What's real and true is it's a time loop. Right. Most right. of us come into adulthood and have very few memories. Right. We have very few memories. I know for myself, like, you know, my first mm -hmm. being pregnant, it was like, whew. You know, all these these snippets started showing up. Wow. Yeah. And it's usually a big time for people who have that um, traumatic amnesia, right? Which that's what they call it. But what's real and true is it's an action. This child is like, I can't get up and have this with this person, with this in my consciousness, and be normal in any sort of way. So right. I'm going to encapsulize it. Now, what I find over and over and over again, this ability to encapsulize works its way all the way down to our human physicalness. Many, many, many folks who have um, complex PTSD for sure have cysts in their bodies, right, as well. So I call these time loops like cysts on our timeline. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's like a cyst. It's like I'm gonna like keep this infection from contaminating tomorrow. Right, right. Well, it makes total sense that your psyche has to do something has with do the it. horror of 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 whatever or the emotional and, trauma. And a cyst in our humanness is our body saying, "I'm gonna encapsulate this infection so that it doesn't <laughs> contaminate everything." Okay. Like I'll find people with sexual trauma have, you know, ovarian cysts, they have um, uterine cysts, cysts in their breasts, right? Kidneys. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's just becomes a way of processing that. Okay. Well, um, I want to let you know that uh, Nazin, Nazanin is here. Um, Milana Fiore. Hi. Hi. Um, uh, Brooke, Brooke, Hi, Brooke. Uh, Leanne's here. Hello, Leanne's here. And uh, Elsie's here. Hi, so Elsie. welcome, you guys. Welcome. So, so okay, so um, 
you guys, I think you're in for a treat. And if any of you that are here in the feed want to come in um, after Kathy, uh, after Sherry's worked with Kathy, just let us know, because I think you'll see this is a huge gift for you. This is like having Christmas in July. <laughs> <laughs> It is Christmas in July. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to um, show Kathy. You ready, Kath? Okay, so I'm going to unmute you now. I'm going to show you in the stream. Okay. Oh, one, two, three. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to hide me. Unless, do you feel like you need me, Cherry? Or it's okay. No. I'd rather have her bigger so that okay. I can. Okay, yeah, and Tanya Ford's here. Morning, everybody. Oh, oh, uh, Nazir, name. I can't say that name. Oh, and Dolores is here. So welcome, everybody. I'm going to hide myself. Hello, Kathy. Hi, Sherry. How are you? I'm pretty good. I'm grateful to meet you. I'm very grateful to meet you as well. Thank you. Yeah. So can you tell me what you're bumping up against? Currently in my life, yeah, um, a lot of fear of moving forward and being visible. Being visible. There okay. are a lot of things I want to do, I think I want to do, and I just, being visible and also at the moment, um, being blocked from doing things that I um, want to do just almost in an awful lot of areas of my life. Do you feel, um, do you feel that's coming from the outside, the blocks? No. Yeah. So they both feel the same to me, right? Okay. Yeah. So, um, let me see if the, and I've also had, uh, most recently skin issues that have come back and forth for like the last seven years. Ah, what, so, what sort of skin issues? Um, rashes and pain, and I had no idea skin could hurt so much. Yeah. Right now it's pretty minor, but I've had some really super major skin things in different areas of my body. Well, our skin is all, you know, um, is a reflection of our nervous system. So that makes sense to me. And so, um. 20 years ago, I had breast cancer. Okay. One other little piece. And um, Can you close your eyes for me? Sure. So if you think about this idea of be being vis visible. Oh, one other thing. May I add one more thing? Absolutely. I think I am always vigilant. What was childhood like? Um, mostly, I don't remember a lot of it, so there may be, it's probably stuff I don't remember. Yeah. Um, the earliest thing that always I wonder about is when my mom was pregnant with me, she started to have a miscarriage. And they stopped and, it? Yes. How did they and do she, that? She was given progesterone okay. that she had an allergic reaction to which I think was, an, I'm sure that's another thing that affected me. Okay. She'd had a miscarriage and I think an abortion or two miscarriages prior to me. And then when I was about, this is, these are the things that stand out. When I was between two and a half and three and one half, I ran my arm through the window of a door and had 18 stitches that the doctor did not do any anesthesia. He just sewed it up. And that is stuck in my mind hugely. Did you get infected? Nope. Nope. Okay. Here's what I'd like for you to do. I just want you to close your eyes. And when you, when I say the word invisible, where do you feel that in your body? The top of my head and also between my throat and my heart. Okay. Okay. And when I say the word invisible, how old do you feel? 
and follow that feeling back. First I got four, I mean six, then I got four. All right, four is what I got. Okay, so let's just breathe into that and relax. And um, where do you see that little four-year-old? Like she's in front of me here. Okay, well, if you were looking at her in time, where would you see her? I see her wandering around her house. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Can you describe the house for me? It's like she's in what was probably the living room. It was a very tiny house. And the furniture, like a chair and a couch, seem like they're very far away. Rug on the floor. What about the house? Of the house. The outside. There was grass, there was a fence. What about the front door? It was green and it had a big the top part was glass and the bottom was was um, green wood with panels. Perfect. So what I'd like for you to do is in your grown up body, I would like for you to be in the front lawn of that house. Okay. Let me know when you're there. Like I'm on the porch looking at it. I okay. That's okay. Can you turn around and look at the door? Yeah. All right. Are your feet on the ground? They're on the concrete. Okay. And if you look down, can you see your feet on the concrete? Yeah. Perfect. And if you reach out, can you feel the glass on the door? Yeah. Perfect. So I would like for us to turn that doorknob. Okay. And the door swings open and I'd like for you to step inside. You're the okay. grown-up. Right? Mm -hmm. You're the grown-up. That's interesting. There's like anxiety. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. That's hers. So I'd like for you to be the grown-up. All right. So that we can um, help her. All right. So this little girl that's standing in that room, right? If you breathe into her, what is she feeling? From the grown up place, right? Well, I want you to be as if you were her mommy. And if you looked at her, what is she feeling right now? The little girl. I think she feels agitated. Yeah, I think so too. So, can you just whisper her name so that we don't startle her? Because she seems pretty absorbed in whatever she's agitated about, right? Just whisper her name and let's move over and take her by the hand and let's bring her over to the sofa for a minute. How does that feel? That feels okay. Mm -hmm. And how is she doing right now? Well, there's no feel in my body, this agitation. She's, she's okay. Yeah. Is she agitated or are you agitated? Let's ask that question. She's not. She okay. seems not. Um, She's like swinging legs a little bit. Okay. So can we ask her? Because um, remember, we were tracing invisible. 
So let's ask her what she's doing right now. Like, why was she feeling, um, because she felt a little bit frozen in that room, didn't she? Pardon? Felt a little bit frozen in that room, like she was just standing there alone in the middle of the room, right? Yeah. Can we just talk to her and ask her what she was doing? I think she's feeling a little bit lost. That's what I'm getting too. Very alone. Where is everyone? Do you sense mom around? If mom's there, she's in the kitchen, which okay. is not very far away. So let's ask her why she feels lost right now. She feels ignored. Why does she feel ignored? Mom's too busy. What's mom too busy doing? Cooking, taking care of her little brother. Feels like mom just kind of stays busy. Yeah. Was she, was she jealous of her little brother? Um... I like asking, you know, the mind gets in there a bit. Yeah, let's just ask her. How was it when, when baby brother came home? It, this, this still goes back to mind and what I know. Um, yeah. Can you reach out and touch her right now? It's just she wants to move. She just wants to move. Why don't we ask her if we can go outside? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Let's go outside. Does she have a favorite spot? Um, that was a big propane tank and I think somewhere near that she kind of liked. Is there a way we can get behind that and not be seen? Yeah, or kind of under it. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So does she like to hide under there a lot? Maybe a little. She had a swing set. She loved her swing set. But she was okay. very visible where it was. Yeah. So let's ask her why she feels so lost. Did something happen? I hear she didn't feel listened to. Yeah. And how old's baby brother right now? How old? Yeah. A year and a half. A year and a half. So she was supposed to be, she felt invisible a lot. Yeah. And um, just because everybody was busy? Yeah. Or did she have something she really wanted to say? Um, I think it was more the invisible. She ran away when she was somewhere around that age. Where did she go? I don't know if it was down the edge of a pasture or down a ditch. And why did she run away? Oh, this is back to the mind. But she was. Uh, it's her. It's still her. Let's not make judgments right now. Yeah. Why'd she run away? Again, that feeling of feeling alone, feeling not comforted, feeling distressed. So can we ask her if, um, if when baby brother came, 
Did that change everything? It did. Yeah. So mom was preoccupied by baby? Yeah. Yeah. So can we look at her and tell her how much we love her? Tell her she is so important. So important. And we are so sorry that she felt unseen. He doesn't take that in. What can we give her? What does she need right now? It's like she just wants to back away. So what Not can we do to draw her in? She needs to trust you. How can we make her trust you? She also feels like you left her there. So what can we say to her right now? That I love her, that I want her to be my friend. I want to be her friend. And can you take your hand and put it on her heart and ha put her hand on your heart and let those hearts sink? I can put my hand on her heart. Let's bring her little hand up to your heart if she'll allow it. And let's tell her I am you. And I came here to help you. It's okay. Let it out. She's been she's been trapped there a long time. There they go, huh? Yeah? yeah. Tentatively. Tentatively. Yeah. yeah, that's okay. Tell her I am you. I'm you. I don't want you to to be here anymore. We've got a lot of work to do. Can you look her in the eye and tell her, I see you. I see you. Like I want to call her baby. Call her baby. <laughs> call her that. She really likes her hair touched. Can you uh, let's play with her hair a little bit? Say, I'm so happy I found you. So happy. What's she doing? Just kind of looking at me. Yeah? Does she trust you yet? She looks quite wondering about the whole thing. Yeah. Tell her that that's what's super cool. It's like you're her fairy godmother. <laughs> and say she doesn't have to stay stuck here anymore if she doesn't want to. We would love for her to come back home with us. And then she would never have to feel alone again. And we want to hear her laugh and sing and play. How's she doing? He's not very quick to trust yeah fair enough she's been trapped there a long time she doesn't really trust anyone 
So what can you give her right now to make her trust you? She feels like you, you abandoned her. Can we tell her how sorry we are? And let's also tell her how much you need her help. Need her help. You need her help. You've got some real big things to do. And you forgot how to play. Mm -hmm. Tell her it'd be fun things. Horribly fun things. Yeah. Tell her and, and tell her you need her to teach you how to play because you forgot. <laughs> she says, can we have puppies? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any pets? Two cats. Let's share that with her. Tell her that you have two cats. She loves she loves kitties. Perfect. Perfect. So let's ask her if she would like to come home with you. Yeah, she said she's like that. Perfect. So tell her we're going to play a really cool game. All right. And we're going to hold hands. And you know, like when you're children, you love to spin around. Mm -hmm. Right. So we're going to hold hands and we're going to start spinning. All right. We're creating a vortex right now. So we're just going to start spinning. And if she gets tickled and laughing, that is amazing, right? We love laughter bubbles in the spin. So we're going to start spinning. And we're spinning faster, 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 faster. Spinning so fast you can't see her anymore. She can't see you. You can't see the house. It's just spinning faster and faster. And as the energy begins to slow and your feet come back down to the earth, the grown-up you is the only one left. Let me know when that's real and true for you. This seems like I'm going through layers and layers and layers. It's perfect. It's years and years of the same cycle over and over again. Unwinding. Unwinding through time. It's beautiful. Just let me know when your feet are back on the ground. Okay. Perfect. And if you look around, she's gone. She's not there anymore. Right. Perfect. So I'm going to bring you back to this time and space. All right. Mm -hmm. We're going to drop down through the atmosphere, through the clouds, through the roof, through the top of your head, into your corpus callosum. Right in the center of your brain. You know where it is. No worries. Mm -hmm. yeah. Perfect. We're going to draw the energy behind your eyes back. And I want you to see that circuit form between your left right brain and your third eye. It's like a triangle of light. Perfect. I call this the wisdom circuit. We're going to drop down the wisdom circuit. We're going to drop down. We're going to fill up your chest. 
And we're going to watch all those brain cells light up in your heart. Perfect. We're going to fill up your arms, your fingers, your belly. Perfect. We're going to watch all those brain cells light up in your gut. Good. And we're going to fill up your thighs, your calves, all the way to the bottoms of your feet. I'd like for you to take your awareness to the big toe of your right foot and see if you can find your pulse there. You have to wiggle it around, do it, it's okay. It's an exercise for us that have been out so long to feel our feet, really. I think so. Perfect. What about your um, left big toe? Perfect. Welcome home. Open your eyes when you feel comfortable. Great job. It's a really good job. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not all here. <laughs> Pardon me? I'm not all here yet. Well, you're here, right? but your brain is really processing and unwinding that through time. I usually um, ask people to go lay down for a few minutes, just like if you were putting new programs in your computer, sometimes we have to shut it down and restart it, right? So, you know, through time, that cycle is unwinding. You were watching that when you were saying the layers and the layers and the layers, right? Yeah, and there was color with the layers as well. For myself, when that happened for me, it was like files just going like this, you know, everybody experiences that in a different way, but you did a perfect job. That was awesome. Well, thank what you feels so different right now? I think maybe I can breathe a bit better. Perfect. Perfect. About now, breath. what's amazing is you just created an out-of-body experience. You just quantum jumped back through time, right? And you gathered up the molecules that are you, right, that were trapped there and brought them back to this space and time. Right? That's a cool. super gift. That's a superpower. <laughs> and you did that. I didn't do that. So congratulations. Terrific. Thank you for being vulnerable in this space. I appreciate that. That's wonderful. I've been wanting to work with you and I get to if I could surprise. Yay. Well we'll have to play again. Awesome. Yep. Thank awesome. you. Thank you so much. Hello, Kathy. We can't hear you. <laughs> Thank you, Kath, and I look forward to hearing more because uh, I think you'll be amazed how different your perspective will be. Unravel. Like, you can watch her eyes. She's still processed. Uh, yeah, yeah. But her, but her aura, I mean, I, I'm too empathic. I'm sitting back here crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you are one on camera. But look at the color in her face. Oh yeah, no, and she's a ama cat's amazing artist and beautiful being. So it, this will bring more of who she really is into this dimension. But I won't. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, well Olivia's here next, so we have another one. Thank you, Kath. Thank you. Hi. Thank you so Let much. Let us know. Let us know. 
Okay, and we're moving. Okay, so hi, Olivia. Okay, one, two, there we go. Okay. Good morning. So, how are you? Good morning. Okay, so morning. before I get out, I want everyone this. So I want to welcome, we've got a pretty good a group of people here. Thank you very much. We've got Kathy, we got Terry, we got Dawn, we got Robin. Robin Nicole says, um, this is such a beautiful healing. Um, Brooke Anderson, um, Terry. So um, uh, Rhonda's here. Zach's here. Dawn. So so we have a wonderful Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining. Yeah. And um, just so you know, I just wanted everyone. Uh oh oh. Oh, and we've got someone else that's coming in. Oops. Got too many. How many? Uh, it's already. We have. Twenty more. So, how are you today, Olivia? I'm good. I've had a very busy morning, <laughs> but I got everything I needed, so I'm happy. Well, okay. So the other person, um, Zio, um, says. She's in black and white and her her thing's not working very well. Oh, and Diane's here. Hello, everybody. Um, so I don't know what you what you want me to do, Sherry. Should we just tell Zio that we can't do it? I'm sorry, Zio. Yeah, Olivia had already. Yeah. Okay, Zio, I'm sorry. It's not gonna work after all. So Okay, sorry. This isn't fun being the <laughs> the gatekeeper. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna get out of here and um, welcome Olivia. I'm so glad to see you. I miss you. So, yeah, so great. Okay, so I am going. Oh, and you just texted me. So I'm out of here. Good morning, Tanya. Hi, Olivia. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> You're a master jumper. So um, tell me what we're bumping up against. So um, let me just fix my camera slightly. Um, I have worked with you uh, already and cleared so much. And what I realized is that I still have this part of my voice that I can't access that when I'm stressed or feeling threatened, um, my voice changes. I can't access my, what my, one of my teachers calls your full, my full body instrument. So I took this whole series actually to learn to sing um, because I love to sing, but whenever I do it in front of anybody, I can't sound good. And I know there's some tightness in here and I have theories about where it came from, but it still plagues me and I want to do more speaking. So I feel like it would be great to find that and heal it. Okay. All right. So close your eyes. Let's find it. Okay. When you think of that ability to um, use your voice, um, just or being silenced, it almost feels like being silenced. Mm -hmm. Where do you feel that in your body? It feels like it's in my um, solar plexus. Yeah, that's where I was going to. And how old do you feel? I'm getting three. Okay. So this three-year-old, where is she? She's in the living room of my house. Is she in there by herself? No. So. Who's in there? I have two older sisters. Okay. All right. So can we come down on the lawn at the home? Yeah. And, um, What's the front of the house look like? 
it's kind of a split level typical suburban house not real big okay kind of unusual looking are your feet on the ground yeah and there is a grown-up i'm a grown-up yeah so let's um go up to the front door Okay. And let's step inside and let's just observe what's going on in that living room right now. So I see my little three-year-old self kind of talking a lot <laughs> and um, just being very animated and happy and um full of joy, excited, and not, to put it mildly, not being appreciated by my sisters. Yeah, call her. Pardon me? Call her a chatterbox? Yeah. Chatterbox. So the little girl, are they, are they, um, are they being mean to her? They're mostly just telling her to tone it down, shut up. Yeah. All right. So can we go in and we're going to just kind of freeze the other two? We're going to, sorry, we're going to what? Freezing your sister. Freeze, freeze them. Okay. All right. All right. And um, let's go over to the little girl. Okay. And let her tell you her story. She's telling a big whole story, it feels like, right? Kind of just dancing around and. Mm -hmm. Tell her you want to hear everything she's got to say. Okay. Love it. Can we take her outside? Yeah. And she has a favorite spot, right? Yes. Where is it? It's in a little strip of woods behind my house. Perfect. Yeah, let's take her in the woods. Okay. Well, she's a magical little thing. She sees, she sees everything. Mm-hmm. So ask her if she can show you the fairies. Yeah, she's, she loves doing that. Yeah. And uh, what does she need to hear right now? That her voice is important. Yeah. And the world needs to hear it. Ask her to sing for you. Oh, she's excited to do that. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, the fairies love the singing. Mm. Mm. Yeah. She sings beautifully, doesn't she? Mm hmm. And so much enthusiasm <laughs> yeah. yeah so tell her when she's done to take a big bow <laughs> right. let's clap for her and she's so amazing mm. and let's explain to her that you've been taking lessons and you've been So we want her to know that she doesn't ever have to shut up. And we like her being a chatterbox. We love it. Mm. Her teachers also tell her it's not good. <laughs> I know, but tell her we love it. Today it's so 
and you want to hear everything. Mm. And all that because they don't understand. And I'm telling her she has really good ideas. <laughs> amazing ideas. And very creative. Yeah. Tell her not everyone can see the fairies. Let's ask her if she'd like to come home with you. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything she, else she needs to say? Mm -mm. Anything else you need to say to her? Mm. Just sort of the same thing. Just know that you're here for a reason and your voice is important. Yeah, and tell her you're really doing some amazing things and we really need her uh we need her to come back so that you can have your magic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, should we go with that? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Well, let's play the game. Okay. We're gonna hold hands and we're gonna start spinning. spinning so fast you can't see each other anymore you're fast and as we your feet come back down to the ground grown up now is the only one left we're gonna bring you back home to the atmosphere uh, Pop in your head into your corpus callosum. Draw that energy behind your eyes back and feel that circuit. Fill up your chest. See all those cells light up in your heart arms, your fingers. See all those cells light up in your gut. All the way to the bottom. Of the So when you think about that um, feeling of not being heard, what does your body feel now? <laughs> it feels good. I feel this almost like defiance. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome. I have to share that even to this day, <laughs> my sisters don't want to hear from me. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly because of my views about things, but it's just so, it's like the pattern has never stopped. And and now I don't feel a charge at all anymore around it. Perfect. It feels like my voice is different. Voice is strong. Does it feel, does it sound different? Sounds strong. Oh. Hmm. When you're comfortable, you can open your eyes. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Thank you for being vulnerable. Yeah. yeah, well, when you invited me to this, I, um, I really thought about what it meant to do this in front of people. And I thought, well, I'm this champion for vulnerability. So if I can't do it, I can't help others. And, um, I just trust this work so much. It's I've done lots of different types and this has been just the most amazing work. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm mm. grateful. Hmm. Where'd Kathy go? Kathy, Kathy. There she there is. is. 
Thank you, Olivia. I can't wait to hear you go. Long, 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 long. <laughs> Singing out. Singing it all. Singing it all. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's great. Well, um, okay, so this is beautiful. Um, we're having other people watch and they're getting a feeling for what Sherry does. And this is um, right now what you're seeing is a lot of inner child work, but there's there's so much of this that you is a whole process that you can learn if you're a practitioner, if you're a therapist. She has a whole track that you can learn this and in, incorporate this into your work, as well as you can see what, what Olivia is saying is when when uh, we're we've been working on ourselves for twenty years or more, and <laughs> more, um, and. Uh, and then we find something that is like per permanently changes you. That's not, let's put it this way. It's more complete. That's the only way I can explain it. Maybe Olivia, you could explain it. Um, it's like the backdraft. Yeah, it's subtle. Yeah. And I think what you notice more than something is the lack of something. It's like the things that used to stop me are no longer in the way. I just feel more energy and less resistance to doing things that used to just take forever because I had all these unconscious things getting in the way. It's almost like, like black holes. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This is so cool. Well, um, thank you so much, Libby. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull you out of the. Okay. It was so wonderful to see you. Thank you for doing this with us. My pleasure. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> I'm gonna. There we go. Thank you. Okay. So the only thing I noticed a little bit, the audio, your audio was going in and out a little bit. Mine was? Yes, it still is. Like, anyway, but but I the gist of it came through. Oh, shit. So, so Michael, Michael's on here. Leanne said, beautiful. Michael, Michael says, beautiful trip, soul tribe. Um, master healer is what he called you. Diane's here. Terry's here. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. And if, if Sherry can help you, um, the, <clears throat> her name is her URL and her process. Um, and Sherry, do you want to tell them, um, cause we want them to, um, experience more of you. Could you tell them a little bit about what they can find when they get to your site? Absolutely. And we're we're starting to go live every Thursday at 11 oh. Central and um, starting next week with um, Quantum Answers is going to be our live. And um, my book group is um, uh, uh, Healing PTSD from the Quantum, right? So please hop in there. Mm -hmm. Let's play. On the website, um, Quantum, uh, the QT Matrix, we have a 90-day process that takes us from the, an entire timeline cleanup, whether that's past lives, this life, we start here and move back, right? So anything that's in our way, I've been with people that we've gone, you know, numerous past lives back with these cycles following us through, right? So that's a 90-day process. And then we have a two-day intensive, right? And um, we've also got small, small group masterminds. So please, like, hop in there. There's multiple different ways to play. And, um, you know, I feel like life isn't going to change until we change. The world's not going to change until we change. So, Kathy said, what time on Thursday it cut out? Oh, my goodness. Why am I doing that? I'm having such technology problems today. Um, 11 central. 
11 Central. Okay. And um, the other thing on Sherry's site, uh, she does have a resources page and she does have free gifts. So I really um, suggest that you check them out. You'll see that this is this is quite amazing work. If you if you're seeing that this time period is really affecting you and that all your stuff is coming up, you you can actually sense when your stinking thinking shows up, <laughs> uh, then this is the fastest way to, to release it. Yeah, because I feel like whenever you have huge emotional washes, right, most often they're not pertinent to where we're standing. And if that's true, we can eliminate that, right? So that we can be completely present. You can't be present if you're carrying it old emotion into situations, right? So it's fast, it's easy, and it's open. Yeah, great. Well, I hope a lot of you will follow Sherry on Facebook. Again, her website is Sherry Doyen, um, C-H-E-R-I-E-D-O-Y-E-N.com. And you can find her here on Facebook. And um, she also has a um facebook page or, or she has groups so so once you find her on facebook join her groups um check out her page you're gonna be she's very generous with her work and you can see that it's quite quite she's a master healer and this is work that um it's it frees up like olivia said it frees you up to have the energy to do what you really want to do <laughs> not not just the recording <laughs> the amazing thing is you do we're all superheroes hop on and grab my you are a superhero and run yeah. Your yeah well thank you so much thank you for being brave to do that um with not knowing what you were going to get <laughs> you guys that was not rehearsed <laughs> not at so, all no, it was great. Thank you. And I, I look forward to hearing how Kathy Botchman does because uh, uh, I you could already see it in her face. Her the color in her face. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it was so cool. Anyway, thank you so much. You're such a gift. Thank you, Sherry, so much. Yeah. Okay. See you later. Thank and you. Thanks for coming. <laughs>